So welcome everyone to Fierce Friday. I am welcome with a Million Mom community. My name is Taz Ferreira. I am from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And this opportunity, this business, this movement has actually allowed myself and my entire family to move to Miami, Florida. And we're living our best life. And it's all because of this business, this opportunity that we share with all of you each and every single day. So I am joined by my beautiful counsel, Carmela Velarde, Naeva Flory, and our newest council member, Michelle Rishi. So we're all here today, along with all of you, talking about, you know, how to share the health wave forward, right? And what does that mean? But before I talk about that, I want to talk a little bit about how, why am I passionate about the Million Mom Movement. So my background is actually in genetics, and I became a functional medicine doctor, and I had no idea about gut health and what it actually meant until it started affecting me personally. So when my son was two years old, he's nine now, he was affected with glyphosate, and I brought him to all the medical professionals, and they told me there was nothing that they could do. They said, this is normal. It happens to all kinds of babies. Put cortisone cream, give him Miralax, and he'll be fine. But you know what? He wasn't fine. He was getting worse and worse. And this was making our whole family suffer. It was until one day we were at convention in Texas and they were launching this amazing revolutionary product called Biomedic. And one of the brand partners there came up to me and said, have you ever thought about glyphosate toxicity and how to remove it? And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? We are already super healthy and we eat organic. How could this affect us? Right? I was a complete non-believer. But she just gave me this biomedic and she's like, you know what? No pressure. Try it. Let's see what happens. And I'm like, you know what? What the heck? I've tried everything and nothing worked from essential oil to calendula to everything. Nothing worked. I tried it three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I opened it up and I put it on top of his tofu scramble. Monday morning was the first time in years. He had a solid bowels. All of his eczema went away. From that moment, I called my upline and I'm like, I am all in. Tell me everything I need to do and I need to share this movement forward. Because if I didn't know about this, imagine how many millions of mothers, of caretakers and of families don't know about what's going on, right? So here we are today, almost three years later, sharing this mission forward. And I, I see my upload on the call right now. Hi, Eric. And so I would love to present to you guys, how are other ways we can spread this mission forward? Okay. And okay, so we have different ways, like the way we live our life, we need to start incorporating how we share this mission. So there's so many things, right? As moms, caregivers, we have um, meetings, we have get-togethers, we have parties. We have different ways of showing how to do a transformational group. So I'm going to have guests come on today and share ways that they are actually sharing this mission forward. And you know what they're doing? They're creating a health wave. And this wave becomes contagious that everyone wants to jump on. So I'm going to, but before we start that, we have an in the news piece from Michelle. Take it ahead, Michelle. Awesome. Thanks, Taz. And welcome, everyone. I'm so excited about this topic today. It's so necessary. Um, how many meetings do we all go to? And, and how are we, um, how many of you have noticed, maybe drop an eight in the comments if you've noticed that every time you're at the office or you go to a kid's get together or a, an adult get together or a board meeting that there's just the options aren't fantastic. It's often coffee and pastries and it's it feels quite defeating. So when I was looking, it was interesting because when I was looking for in the news pieces today about, you know, changing the culture of meetings, there's not really a lot out there. But upon further digging, I did find a few things that were encouraging. So I want to bring them forward and 
Um, I'm going to put the um, the links in the comments. Let me pull up the board here. Share my screen with you all. Me one second. Whoops. Of course, the meeting panel is in the way, and I can't switch my screen. Hang on one second. Is my screen sharing? Darn. Yes, your Facebook. Yep, it just keeps saying quit and I can't exit out of it. Thanks for doing that for me. Okay, uh, let's see. I might have to have somebody else share the screen, but let me try one more time. Um, the first piece that I found that I thought was really interesting is um, how cities can shift toward a planetary health diet for all. So this is really good news. There's Michelle, we don't see it. Sorry, my Zoom keeps quitting, so I might have to have somebody else share the screen for me. Can you guys find the call to action in board so that I can um, just talk a little bit about it? The three articles that I have put up, I'm going to go ahead and try to put them in the comments while I'm speaking. But one is the, the, the global shift and how the United States, there are some organizations that are um, thinking this way and really doing studies um, and bringing it forward on the city level. Another article that I'll put in the comments is about how food banks did a survey of their employees and the different uh, food bank organizations. And the employees didn't actually know how the nutrition component or um, oversight of what nutrition in the food banks were being put forward. So a lot of times it's canned foods, it's it's non-organic, it, it may not even be healthy. Um, a lot of the food banks are in food deserts. And so there's this uh, survey that's going around where they're actually trying to even find out nutritionally what the employees and the people who run the food bank um, understand about what they're putting out there for food. Um, we're trying to help people. And at the same time, um, it's the second article, um, but this is one of them. The, um, they're putting out things that may not even be healthy for people. So we have a, a low socioeconomic demographic and the same thing is happening where we see all over the country of not even having access to good food and even the food banks aren't providing good food. So um, this article was really interesting for that reason because they did this study and are now moving food banks more towards the nutrition mindset. So um, what I think is interesting about this article is you can um, follow the link and actually get connected um, to a food bank in your area and potentially help support these programs. Um, and wouldn't it be great if you as a Perian partner could partner with some of these things in your community? And that's everyday activism. That's something that we talk about here a lot. So this is another great one. And then the third article that I found that I think is really relevant to just practicing um, I found one article on how to avoid junk food in the office. So this is like the good snacking hygiene, essentially. Um, one of the things they talk about is being prepared. So bringing your own snacks from home, um, going ahead and taking any junk food in the office and putting it up in cupboards or putting it in drawers. So it's out of sight, out of mind. Um, and there's some really good tips in this article, but I think that it can be really applied to anything. You know, we, we talk about these kids get togethers. I know that I may have been a little ahead of the curve. My son is 22 now, but we always, you know, I was like, I'll be the snack mom for soccer. And I would bring the orange slices and things that I knew I wanted my kid to eat because if I left it to other people, um, it, it, you know, it would be some of these more junk foods. Um, 
also going into your schools and demanding like, why is there a, a candy machine or a snack machine in here or a soda machine in the school? And really um, using these principles of um, foresight, um, finding other people who feel the way you do about this, you know, being prepared, stepping up and being the advocate and really, um, uh, you know, being the leader, showing people what you want to do. And this can go for any kind of meeting. Um, one of the biggest ones that's close to my heart is like an NA or an AA meeting where they have coffee and donuts usually and you know really changing the culture there's so many places that we can get into and with just a little foresight and a little fortitude and a little leadership i think you guys will be surprised to find out how many people this is on their minds but they just don't know how to make the changes so we have a lot of tools um, and you know maybe it's up to us to start writing these blogs and these articles to help people because it was really hard for me to find um, you know, an article on how to shift the culture of snacking at meetings. And so, you know, it is ridiculous. And so, you know, with the Million Mom movement, you know, there's a couple ways that you can approach advocacy. We can rage against the machine and complain about the culture and we can, you know, hate it, or we can change and shift the paradigm with our everyday activism. And I think that that's what's really important. That's why I'm so excited for today's calls because these women collectively, we probably have a hundred years of experience on events and shifting the culture. And I'm really excited that we're gonna be highlighting Brooke and Joshua today too, that are doing some amazing work as well. So I'm gonna put the links in the comments. And with that, I'm gonna pass it back because we have a packed call today and I wanna get after it. Thank you so much, Michelle. I, I love those articles, you know, and the food supply, all of these things are issues that we're dealing with every day. And if we can share that we have a $50 gift card to our own superfood store, I mean, how brilliant is that? We already own the groceries. We already have that set. And that's one of the biggest pandemics that we're going through right now. So just sharing that forward is amazing. You know, when I hear health wave, you know what I think of? You know, when you go to a sporting arena, like a hockey game, well, I'm from Canada, so hockey games, what we do, we all hold hands and we do this wave together, right? Do you remember that? Do you visualize and feel that when we talk about a health wave? And you know what we can do to do that? Partnership, right? We have to hold hands and link arms together for this wave to happen. And for this massive wave to happen, it gets bigger and bigger. And then you see it trickles around the whole arena. And how powerful is that? When you look around, you're like, you know what? I was part of that. I was part of that wave. Don't you feel pride? Don't you feel amazing? I know I always feel amazing. I'm like, I, I was in there, right? So you are part, being part of history. You're being part of a new wave of society of life right because it's up to us to teach the next generation so speaking of the next generation there are so many ways that we can move our mission forward and start our own health wave so I have one of my brand partners who is believe it or not is old enough to be a grandparent soon okay and she's throwing a baby shower and she's throwing a superfood baby shower. And when I heard this, I'm like, this is incredible. You need to come on and share this because in baby showers and all kinds of activities like this, what happens is that it's not always the healthiest. And we know that glyphosate passes through the umbilical cord. So how about starting away with that and start teaching new mamas how to start taking care of your baby while they're within us, right? So she couldn't be on today's call, but she was so kind to make a video for us. So I will be playing this video and then adding some things to that, okay? So let's watch it. Can you guys all see that? Yes? Awesome, thank you. Hi everybody, happy Friday. I wish I could have been on the call live today, but I had a prior engagement. I understand that today you are talking about health wave and how to create ways to create that initiative. And I think that is such a great topic. Any opportunity to share our amazing superfoods and what we've all learned about health and wellness and how we transformed our own health and our family's health is a great opportunity. Um, and I 
I'm recording this message because I was asked to share what I will be doing for my daughter's baby shower. So yes, I have a daughter who is old enough to be a mama herself, and she is having her first baby at the beginning of March. So at the end of February, I will be throwing her her baby shower. Um, and we have decided to make it a superfoods baby shower. Why not, right? I'm also proud to say that my daughter is a brand partner as well. And so she is on board with this and thinks, you know, she's really excited. Some of her friends and family will be hearing for the first time, but she is a brand partner and what she's been up to. So I think it's it's a great opportunity to incorporate our superfoods. So we'll be doing that in so many different ways. My kids will be there, my sons that you've all met already, Jordan and Nathan, and they will be uh they will be in charge in essence of a superfood station at the baby shower. So we have our blender bottles and we will be using them to make superfood drinks for the guests. We are also going to be posting some fun facts all around the food. So little fun facts about glyphosate, little fun facts about uh, healthy choices, fruits and vegetables. Um, we will also be making food with our superfoods. So the Epigenius uh, kids, I will be making, or Epigenius family now, I will be using it to make a spread that will go on uh, crackers. We are going to be using the beet, can't beat this, to make amazing hummus. We're going to be using um, the power shake in some energy balls and so much more. I don't have a full menu just yet, but I'm working on it. And these are some of uh, the things that we've come up with so far. So um, I think uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm really looking forward to it. I already see all the beautiful colors from all of the superfoods coming into the theme as well. So that's how we are planning to create some awareness while also celebrating a brand new baby. How exciting is that, right? To have all of these superfoods. So I have to add, because Sherry is doing a little bit more than what she mentioned, okay? She is also going to be highlighting our plastic-free initiative, okay? So in, on her registry, it's all plastic-free because, you know, plastic is the microplastic that goes inside our bodies. So this is another level of education that she's going to be showcasing towards everyone who have the opportunity to go to this baby shower. I mean, imagine they're leaving this baby shower with so much knowledge and healing their body. They're going to have these amazing mocktails that she will make with the apothecary and the cocoa hydrate. I mean, it's going to be so delicious. And she will be teaching everyone about, you remember when she wrote the fun facts about glyphosate and what the glyphosate actually does to the body. Maybe she'll add the epigenius, maybe some biomedic and have it before. So everyone starts understanding what it means you have to start taking care of your baby before right we don't want to deal with gut health after because that's what normally happens and she will also with a plastic free initiative she will print out from the website about our plastic free and have it near the table so everyone can take a look at all our products how it's made out of hemp and plant resin and understand really what we're all about and her mom will be involved. So the grandparents, the kids, everyone will be involved in this event, right? This is a great way to start a health movement. And yes, I mean, there's so many ways. And I would love to bring on our another guest. Remember we were talking about partnership and doing things collective? Well, we are part of this amazing, amazing Fierce Friday where all of you guys always come on and you come up with brilliant genius ideas, right? Yes, each and every one of you. And we have a special guest who came to us with this genius idea. And when we saw it, we're like, we need to highlight you and we need to hear it from you and share with the entire team. So I'm introducing to you Brooke and Joshua. They will be talking to us about their health initiative and them, how they're building this health wave. Okay, I'll leave it up to you. The floor is yours. Yeah, right. thank you. Thank you so much. This is one of our favorite calls, so we're happy to be here today. Um, so I'm Joshua this is Brooke, obviously. Um, <laughs> we met here in Portland a few years ago and bonded over our love of health and wellness and uh, also music and dance. And uh, we would spend a lot of nights out dancing and we would wind up in the kitchen late night um, doing midnight in the kitchen 
Midnight in the kitchen. It's a little fun thing we like to do. And uh, so we would have healthy snacks. And uh, once Purium came into our lives, we started doing a lot of healthy Purium based cereals. So we uh, were feeling like this is something that everyone should try. So yeah, so um, I can go ahead and share my screen and show you all what I have created because um, can you can you see it? You guys good? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so the super cereal solution is what we've come up with and you know, people get excited about cereal. And I know on this call, we're always speaking on the toxicity of cereal and glyphosate and Cheerios and all, all of that, that, um, yeah, is a big problem because cereal is one of the, one of the top four things that people buy at the grocery store. So everyone responds to it. Everyone has an experience with cereal. Everyone loves cereal. And, uh, we are just on this mission now to bring like America's favorite breakfast in a whole new way, in a way that is beneficial for all beings on this planet. And uh, so this is what we're doing. And uh, here we have essentially the cereal is being transformed by making Purium the highlight here instead of like the superfoods of the granola, which that could totally be a thing too. We're infusing the superfoods into the milk and everyone loves the end of the bowl, right? You know, we all like, that's what we eat cereal for to like sip that sugary milk at the end. And so now we get to sip some delicious superfoods at the end and they're green or chocolatey or whatever you want to do. So, um, as you all know, you know, it's not good for your health, most cereals on the market. And so we really, this is just a landing page to kind of bring more awareness, which hopefully will be accessible to everyone soon. This is just on my personal website at the moment, but we want to bring this information out to everyone and um, have some tips and tricks and some information regarding what is going on. I made a little granola guide too, which I can provide to everyone. Um, let's see if we can pull this up as well. Maybe put it in the chat afterwards, but yeah, want to provide everyone with the tools to be able to be more conscious consumers by cereals that don't have all the seed oils and sugar and everything that comes with um, all of that. We'll see if this wants to load up, but maybe not um yeah so you know we already most of us know this but a quick little guide for most people that don't know this and really have no idea how to shop for things and it's really challenging to find even a good organic granola because everything will check the boxes until you get to see some seed oil or canola oil that really just um yeah kind of makes it not the best so um, I'll share that with everyone as well. And yeah, I just love the play on superfood cereal for superheroes and superhumans because you can make that green milk and call it your Hulk cereal or whatever you want to do with your own kids. And um, yeah, so that's kind of what we have here. Oh, yeah. Um, and we do want to make this a thing. Like we want to see your cereal. We want you to share it. We want to make, have you make this with your kids and your family. And uh, um, if you will tag us or use the hashtag super cereal solution. And we just want to kind of blast this and um, yeah, make this really a movement. So. I love that Brooke. How about you share with us where where do your dreams lie with this movement um yeah so i mean it's funny because josh and i are not parents <laughs> ourselves so you know but we feel like yeah, i'm moving into the mother phase of my life so um yeah so for us particularly we see this for our love for festivals and events and like bringing this out into that kind of world um and just having fun because it's all about play, you know, like we really just want to make our lives kind of a festival in a way and nurture our own inner child. 
But I also see the vision of for parents bringing this to their schools and PTA meetings and having, you know, classes or, you know, kind of lunch and learns in their own communities in this way. And to have the kids have this as their like afternoon snack or whatever it is that they're giving to them. So we're not really in that world, but I want this to be an invitation and the catalyst to kind of create something for people to use this as a template to um, bring into, yeah, their children's schools and communities. And thank you so much for sharing this with us and allowing the entire field to use this amazing information that you built. I love it. When I saw this, I'm like, Brooke and Josh, they're geniuses. This is beautiful and so well done. So thank you so much. And while getting to know both of them, I started learning about Josh, Joshua, and how he is and what he's creating apart from this, okay? And I wanted to highlight this. And I wanted him to share because this is completely in line with what we're talking about of this health wave. Okay, so he is building men's circles and it's a very interesting method. So take it away, Joshua, and you can share it. Okay, thank you. So uh, yes, I used to be an actor and a writer and producer and worked in New York for years in the theater in LA and uh, basically through that process, I became a professional drinker. Um, so I was a heavy drinker for many years and had a wake up call that, um, I won't get into, but, uh, that made me decide that this wasn't the best way to live my life. And, uh, rather than going through AA, I basically just started making healthy choices. And, um, from there, it just catapulted into, um, not being a drinker anymore. Uh, so my view is, uh, or my, my plan is to build men's groups. Uh, ideally, um, instead of AA, I want to add a third A. So we'll make it AAA, which will be Alcohol Alternatives Alliance, um, where we get together and we start with superfood nutrition and just educating on how to reheal the gut and, um, and then implementing all kinds of other healthy uh, choices and just changing the habits uh, so that we can really empower men to stop having to rely on this poison uh, that is becoming so culturally normalized. Um, and so that's really my, my plan is I want to raise uh, the consciousness with healthy and creative alternatives to alcohol. And uh, through that, we'll just, you know, do meditations and uh, grounding and, uh, you know, gut movement. health, movement, That's exercise, all the things, you know, uh, but starting with the basis of superfood nutrition is really uh, the plan. So what I'd love to do is encourage other men or women as well, but uh, just creating these groups through meetup or wherever, and uh, just starting to invite people to have these uh, engagements without alcohol. So I absolutely love that. I know you already have a fan base. I can see all of my brand partners, Dan and Mike, like cheering you on. Like this is exactly where we need to be headed, right? AA meetings, you were telling me they serve like donuts and everything that's unhealthy. Why not switch it up and show them alternative ways that they can be they can be and you know what it's mineral deficiency so if your body has the right minerals you don't have to crave these things now you start craving the right things i love both of your initiatives with the cereal with the hulk cereal and with the aaa so incredible thank you both thank you thank, thank you. you thank yeah, you thank you so now we will go to our next council member, Carmela, who is going to share what she's been doing in her community. Thanks, Taz. And so nice to hear from you, Brooke and Josh. Um, just a spin off of what you guys are talking about with AA meetings, you know, we had discussed this in another of our Fierce Fridays, but there's a hashtag called Mommy's Juice that's really normalizing for moms the prevalence of alcoholism when you can't uh, manage stress with your children. And this is not an ideal scenario for mothers. In fact, our green juice or our lifestyle, of course, is such a better option. 
Um, so what I love to do for with my family, um, I have a nine and a 12 year old. I host sleepovers pretty much every single weekend. I have another one this Saturday, um, literally every weekend. And um, how I go about this is intentionally. I make sure that I speak to the mom or text them beforehand. And in that process, I always ask about dietary restrictions, sleeping and waking schedules. We really get to go into the health of each of the children um, really as a chat. And we're kind of health coaching in essence, because I tell them I'm a health coach. I've been working with this organic superfood company that really helps with the nutrition of my children. It's easy to, to supplement um, and it really helps them to avoid all the cravings for all the toxic acidic foods like candies. And at sleepovers, kids are excited to have candy. So that's how they like to stay up or they just, it's kind of like their drug of choice. So when we have the option to have it in my house, I personally love to create a spread, you know, create a beautiful spread when they get in. So they're like, okay, if I'm hungry, I reach to this and that actually looks really good. So it's usually just live raw fruits and vegetables. Um, and the food is either salads and that, that's easily accessible all throughout the day. So that if they're hungry, when they're hungry, they just dip in. Um, I tell them where the refrigerator is at and I show them when they arrive what's in my refrigerator so they could just go into it and feel really comfortable. And I'll say, you know, I already spoke to your mom about this and I know what your, your favorite fruits are and your favorite vegetables and your favorite foods, your proteins. And I had it already. So I have to have some intention and I think everybody should before they invite people to their home anyway. <laughs> so um, that's one thing, mom groups. Um and then you get an idea of how they the, the kids sleep. So often I end up having a family transformation opportunity out of this. And we want more family transformations. Of course, it starts with the parents. Um, so then another thing is mom meetups. So I've done this many times. I've been a partner as of this March for nine years. And I started as a million mom movement mom. Um, my son was nine months old when he came to the first convention in 2014. And I flew him in from the Philippines. I want my kids involved. And I have that footage and I share it with people that he's been with me since the beginning, using these superfoods, eating the green shakes and the mom meetups. I show them my business and I show them my lifestyle. And we just get to talk about all the things and you just put it up on meetup. It's a very simple system. Um, and then moms want to gather and talk. Um, another thing, uh, Josh talked about it was men's groups, but I actually have hosted many women's groups and women's circles. Um, so I used to have a wellness center for seven years in Manhattan with my mom. So I held ceremonies and circles for women. Um, and I find that during the lunar cycle, like full moon or new moon is a really beautiful way to um, gather in ceremony. And I have a flurry. She's going to talk next about a really beautiful ceremony that we're you know, we were talking about our Million Mom Movement Council, and we're really excited to share it with you guys, but women's groups, right? So women always, they're the best advocates for health because they purchase usually the food in the family or they cook. Um, but yeah, it's such a great opportunity to talk about health and wellness and to have maybe a side table with information. Um, I'm going to move to my wellness events and expos because I'm very passionate about that too. I'm hosting one tonight. So for my fam my PTA, I don't know if you could see it with this background, but so I was looking at all the different vendors and none of them were nutrition except for one, which is a smoothie bar that's not organic in our local town. So I thought, what an opportunity. I just emailed them last night to do it tonight that I want to get in. And I just did a whole expo for cannabis festival last, last weekend. So I have an entire setup ready to go in my bags. <laughs> like literally I have a rolling bag. That's Perium bag right behind me. I have printed out a laminated poison. Oh boy. Poison in our daily bread report. So we're going to be talking about this later with the call to action. I highly recommend. This is how we can share activism because you want to say we're calling out. We're not just an organic food company. We are actually and this is my little spiel. And this is what I recommend for you guys when you do talk to new people and share what Purium is. For We've been around for 30 years, but for the first 21 years, we were primarily a farming company where 250 private labels sourced our ingredients at just for the ingredient in, to integrity. So then 10 years ago, 
that was when Dave Sandoval really started formulating and opening it to direct sales. And I found the company nine years ago where I've been really building this movement to be a full on reach out for word of mouth, direct marketing and grassroots education. So I'm here to share samples. So I always share, Melissa shared a really good um, idea, dark berry and cocoa hydrate. I think I'm gonna do that tonight for the PTA. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. And then I'll do the Epigenius Kids, which they turned it into Epigenius Family. So I love that. They just uh, changed the name. But I'll serve superfood balls. So after this Zoom, I'm going to go bake my superfood balls, matcha ones, and maybe chia, cocoa, cherry bombs to serve, which takes all of guys 15 minutes. It takes 15 minutes to roll it up, put it in. I have these little cups, and um, I'm ready to go. It shouldn't be a big thing. It, it shouldn't. It should just be understand your spiel. People want to know your story. What is Purium? Who is Purium? Why is Purium different? Well, then you talk about the, um, the Green Food Bible and then your advocacy with the poison in our daily bread and biomedics. So really, if you have a few things set to go, your talking pieces are all there. Um, another quick thing I wanted to share, group transformation transformations. I want to give you guys ideas with the rest of this council of ways you can get out to communities. Well, I personally worked with uh, shamanic communities and typically they have a dieta, so pre and post detox. So I do work with a number of communities where the shaman is um, very specifically helping people to integrate into this really pure detox and then integration. So um we have the perfect protocol. It's called the 30 day ultimate lifestyle transformation. So for 10 days, they can pre cleanse. And then for the next 20, they can integrate and detox post ceremony, which is perfect. You know, it's all set up for the information to just coach that way. Um, and so I'm going to pass the mic over um, and I'm excited to have Neva share next. Thank you Thanks. so much, Carmela. Thanks, Taz. <clears throat> um, thank you so much for everything that you shared. And I just love the idea of having this, you know, no matter what the event is, we can incorporate superfoods. So don't get hung up about creating a new thing. If it's super uncomfortable for you, do something that your friends are going to want to attend, right? When I was in the Midwest with my husband's family, we decided to throw a barbecue and inc include superfoods into the barbecue because that's what they do when you're in Missouri. Missouri and Arkansas. Inviting everybody to healthy happy hour was like crickets. I did it three times. Nobody showed up. And then we said, you know what, let's have a barbecue. And you know what, everybody showed up for the barbecue. So what we did was we served can't beat this refreshments, aloe digest refreshments, and just really stuck to the refreshments being the healthy option, along with, you know, grilling lots of vegetables, making some fun dips that people could enjoy with those grilled vegetables. And of course, we had all the fun stuff on the grill, but what enticed them to come was the barbecue and the fact, the name, right? When you hear barbecue, people all already are like, okay, I'm in, what are we doing? And so find what works for you in your community. Cause sometimes you might be trying to recreate the wheel and do something brand new and people aren't familiar with it. They don't know what it is. They you know, people are curious, but sometimes if we do something familiar, they're, they're, they get excited about it. So think about that as you're creating the events in your community, think about what your community is inspired by, what they want to come to. So while I'm on that topic, Carmela kind of alluded to something that I experienced a few years ago here on Kauai when we had an, a big event and we had a superfood ceremony. And this was based off of a cacao ceremony. We had somebody, a brand partner in Purium who leads these cacao ceremonies and they helped us oh, yeah, 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 yeah. formulate a, a superfood ceremony with the same um, intention in mind, the same format. We shared the intention, where the superfoods are from, why they're important in today's day and age. We mixed them in the center or the circle. Each person had one cup at a time and we shared an intention with it. So this was a really fun way to incorporate into something that our community was really excited to learn about, right? 
many have maybe heard about a cacao ceremony or attended one, and this was just another version of that. So again, this person used their own genius, something that they were already doing, and just slightly recreated the wheel to incorporate superfoods. So I was super inspired by that, and I wanted to share that with you all because I think it's just such a great way to find new ways to incorporate these superfoods into the community that we are a part of. Some of the other ways that you can incorporate the superfoods are at your mom clubs, right? Book clubs, kids get togethers. When I first launched this business, I started with play dates at the park or the beach. And I literally would just go to the beach. I'd invite every Wednesday. I did it every Wednesday after school because it was the short day. So I'd pick up my kids and go to the beach and I invite all the moms throughout the week. I would invite moms and let them know every Wednesday at two o'clock, I go to this beach, meet me there, come bring your kids. We're going to have fun. I'm going to bring refreshments. And that's all I did was invite them and offer refreshments at the time I was brand new I literally didn't even do a presentation I let them have the refreshments and come back to me and say what was that what's in that what's in the bottle right what's the red one what's the green one and so I would offer can't beat this for the moms I'd offer power shake or the um at the time it was MVP kids and so that's what I would offer at the beach. And it was something easy to do. It was nutritious for everybody and it was fun. So the main thing with all of these is keep it fun, keep it simple and find your own genius around it. So some of the other ideas, you know, besides play dates is potlucks. There's often birthday parties or other events happening where you are going to bring a dish to this event. And so you can be creative with that dish. Have fun with it. We have a ton of recipes for you to check out. And whether you choose to bring a refreshment like I did to my beach parties or whether you decide to bring, you know, a can't beat this hummus or a barley greens hummus, or maybe you make a whole vegetable tray that goes with it. Um, there's so many other things as well that we have in our recipe books that you can check out and just really have fun with it. Create your own genius and, you know, the, the sky's the limit really. So all of the events, any event you go to, you can incorporate these superfoods. And we're just so excited to share all these tips and tricks with you. So back to you, Taz. I love all of these tips. So brilliant. I'm hearing Carmela, I'm hearing you. And I'm like, yes, the barbecue. As you were talking, I was, I'm thinking you can add the can't beat this to barbecue sauce, even the bio fruit. I started thinking about that. I had never thought about barbecue, but of course barbecue will absolutely draw a crowd rather than saying a superfood social, right? So depending on where you live, that is a great opportunity. And if you live next to the beach, use the beach. Use what you have around you. And the mom circles, the book clubs, I mean, you're giving them nutrition that they can absorb the information for the book. You know, like you're helping them on so many levels. It's brilliant. I love all of that. Thank you, ladies. And thank you, guests, for sharing. Okay, so we have a special announcement. Okay, we are looking for a video of maybe 10 to 15 seconds clip from your kids because we want to highlight your kids. You guys, you are building this movement forward, right? We are sharing this with our entire family, but we need to get this out and people need to feel that our children are actually living this lifestyle, right? And we want to redo this video. This is a really old video. I think the kids are probably in their 20s, but now we need to go back and show our kids we have little kids who are the new generation of Purium. We want to showcase them. Okay, I will play you the video so you have an idea. Now, if we don't hear the volume. Just need to unmute myself. Sorry. Here. Aloha! One way that Purium products help me is I put love in my shake before I go to pillow practicing. And I feel energized and ready to go. Oh, yeah. It's a mustache. It's a mustache. Six favorite Purium products, and let me tell you what they are. 
Axel Coella, Spiralina, Orange Dream, Apotha Cherry, Love, and Master Aminos. I love these all. Love. I love these all because they're nutritious, they're healthy for me, and they changed my life. I mean, because I used to be like most kids, going to drive throughs being unhealthy, and I'm so thankful that my family found Perium because I really like it now. Thank you. Could you eat this all day? Yeah, let me see your mouth. Uh -uh. Let me see. <laughs> How many have you had? A lot of them. A lot of them. My mom starts my day off with a fruit smoothie with love super meal in it. But my favorite thing is a kid's power shake because it makes me feel more alert at school. And I take it to school and it helps with my with my groin pains. I love that. You're definitely gonna have more, please. Say bye. We love say we love Perium. We love Perium. No, Perium. How sweet. Oh, I love that video. And a lot of these products are outdated. Okay, so we don't even carry these products anymore. So we want to showcase our new products, the relabeling with the Epigenius family, the MVP family, and you know, the superfood cereal. Maybe make some Hulk milk, have the kids have it. It does not have to be complicated. You could do um, a milk mustache, a green mustache. I mean, there's so many ways you could be creative in your family. So it's 10 to 15 second video and send it to us. We will post in the chat the link to send it, it goes straight to us in corporate, and we will be making this video together. Okay, so let's go to one of my favorite parts of Fierce Friday is our call to action with Carmela. Thanks, Taz. And yes, our call to action. I talked to you guys about the poison in our daily bread report earlier in my talk, and I want to take you there. So I'm going to share a screen. And microphone on. All right. Confirm that you guys can see that. All right. So here we are at the detoxproject.org. So I want you guys to go there. And then in this pull down menu, you're going to find reports. And then you're going to find the report we're talking about. The Poison in Our Daily Bread. It's a relatively new one, just released last year, end of last year actually Feb of last year. And when you go into it, it really highlights the issues. So it goes through um, and, and shares that 45 of 86 of the different products that were tested have an alarming level of glyphosate. And basically what this detail report talks about is that 10 parts per billion is what's deemed safe for, for consumption. So what we're doing in the Million Mom Movement is calling out these different companies that carry these products, such as Whole Foods, yes, even Whole Foods, um, Target, Hy-Vee, Natural Grocers, and you could see the range of, of glyphosate that is contained in some of these products from 26 to 144, even up to 1,000 parts per billion. And this is not okay. Um, some of them are even organic or non-GMO. So we've gone through a number of these products already, and we're now to the protein bars and shakes, which is actually kind of my favorite thing, knowing that we have such um, pure um, plant-based protein in our uh, catalog. So we called out On It, Nature's Best, Garden of Life, who's owned by Nestle now. And I have clients who formerly used Vega, Cachava, which is really popular and all over the internet. Well, they have high parts per billion of glyphosate. So during my wellness expos and fairs, I show this very clear picture that some companies, even though they're organic, just don't care about glyphosate testing. And that's not okay for us in Curium. So um, show you. So let's go to Amazon. So Amazon carries now. Now product line has been around for a while. It, it's, it's a pretty popular brand. I've seen it. Actually, they changed their logo, but now this is now sports. So what you're going to do is go into now nutrition pea protein. 
And how are you going to go leave a comment? See the stars, the top right, 6,174. Click the stars, and then you're going to be able to immediately leave a review. Custom reviews, write a review. So I already opened up my review and wrote it. So my title is listed in poison in our daily bread. And what I wrote was to who this concerns it now. Your popular brand was listed in the report on glyphosate, the active ingredient roundup. Maybe this company hasn't even heard of it. Maybe they need to, but I do know um, that they're pea protein source from China. So for having higher parts per billion than what's deemed safe for consumption, your sports pea protein 24 grams contains 29 when what's safe is 10. I'm reading that the pea protein is sourced from China and although GMO free, it's in your best interest to consider testing for glyphosate to be certified organic. Go to this website to view. Now, what we're asking for you guys to do is to share your advocacy. So I went into my story. If you want to start a revolution. All right, let me go into my, so my story. Call to action for so today I created is a story. Detoxproject.org. I tagged calling out Mom movement. And I basically product, shared what people could do and what I did. Nutrition. What I'm it's really telling popular, everyone else actually. here to do. Um, and just share it. Um, you find it on by Amazon. Sharing it and your advocacy, I think it's really important for people to see just how, um, let me see, stop sharing, just how important it is to you that you're taking a stand and you're, you're actioning, you're taking actionable steps. All right. I'm complete. Thanks so much, Tess. Thank you so much, Carmela. I love that. So if you're writing this and someone asks you, well, what is the detox project? Okay. You know, all of our videos are found on YouTube and we have a fierce Friday that we actually did with Henry Rowlands and he's, he is the detox project. So you can go back and you can send them that look at it yourself. And this is a way to share this, right? So if someone's curious and like, I've never heard about it. Who is he? What is he all about? How does he know this? Well, Go watch that video. And he really breaks it down and explains, even though these foods are labeled organic, how come they still have glyphosate, right? And it's very eye-opening. I also wanted to mention that, you know, being a brand partner, we have something called a variety pack. So everything that all the ladies have mentioned today and men, this is a great way to use our variety pack. We have all of the samples in there. You can choose to use so many. There's a coffee pack. There's the Epigenius family. And if you are not a brand partner yet, reach back to the person who invited you to this call and maybe ask them, how can I upgrade to become a brand partner and get this amazing variety pack? Because we have so many things in there that I'm always excited to show people the little packaging with the labels. I mean, it just makes our life easier, right? And isn't that what we're all about? So I would love for you guys to go to register for our next week, Fierce Friday, and our Lunch and Learn in February, and tag us and share and hashtag our Million Mom Movement and our Instagram as well. But before we leave, we need to read our pledge to show you what we're all about. Is Do we have any volunteers who will love to read this? Maybe our guests? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. How about I read it? Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. I pledge to defend the health of myself and my family. I pledge to choose organic foods that are minimally minimally processed and free of man-made ingredients. I pledge to read labels and educate myself on all aspects of clean living. I understand that my actions today will positively impact impact the health and environment of future generations. I am committed to sharing this movement of many. <clears throat> I am the Million Mom Movement. Thank you so much. I love that. I love hearing it. Every time I hear it, I always beam with pride. And you can find this in the Purium app and you can reshare this. And you can find this on millionmommovement.info and you go to movement, then join, and then you scroll all the way down and you can share this with anyone and ask them, does this resonate with you? And if it does, this opens a whole new level of conversation. And what happens with this conversation? Waves happen. Unity happens. We create this movement forward. So thank you all for being on today's call. Reach out to the person who invited you 
to this community and ask them, how can I be involved more? Okay. Thank you all. Love you. Thank you. See you next week.